Okay, welcome back. So what we've got here is a circuit that should be familiar to you if you've seen the previous couple of videos on the link between electric current and magnetic fields. We've got about five volts just under applied to our circuit. That's causing an LED to glow. Circuit is switch is closed, goes through a 10 ohm resistor, and in this case comes through a coil of wire with a nail that I've sort of partially inserted here, as you can see. Okay. Now, right now, okay, the compass that we see here is reasonably close to our current carrying wires, okay, not particularly close. Uh, the one thing about solenoids is that their magnet magnetic field is very much confined to where the coil is. And since we're about a eh, centimeter and a half away from the end there, uh, the magnetic field that this thing is feeling right now is, is pretty minimal. You can see little disruptions in the, the direction of the needle as we move it away from this thing. We get closer to, to true north. Okay? But if you use your right hand rule, right, we've got, um, let me grab my pointer here. We've got a, a wire that's coming in carrying current this way, coming underneath the string and then coming back around. You can see this first wire here okay, is when it comes back over the top after going underneath. Right? If you can see that. Okay. So what that tells us with the right hand rule is that since the current is coming, um, well, going up the page in that wire that we can see on the top of the straw there, then the magnetic field created by this thing on the interior of the coil, remember that's where it's reinforced, is going to be to the left, okay? And so as we bring this thing, as we bring the, the compass a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, you see that it deflects a little bit more to the left, away from the Earth's magnetic field direction, okay? Now, uh, what we can do is if I, as I zoom out here just a little bit is when, sorry for the shaky hands, <laughs> when I bring this ferromagnetic core into, farther into the solenoid, so right now it's just barely stuck in the right hand end, if we bring that in closer, you can see immediate effect in terms of the displacement of the compass needle. And when we actually get to the point having the nail all the way through, you can see its point just sticking out there. You can see that the magnetic field due to the current and due to the alignment of the magnetic domains in the nail, so that ferromagnetic material, has made the magnetic field really strong to the left, okay? In other words, this, uh, this left-hand end of the solenoid plus nail combo is the north pole of that electromagnet, crude electromagnet. And if we take the, the nail back out, okay, it weakens, okay, considerably. Now we're only really left with the magnetic field being created by the current, which, although it's something, is not nearly as significant when we get this big multiplying factor of having the nail in there, okay? So, that's the basic idea. Remember, right-hand rule for determining the solenoid's magnetic field direction. Current is coming down through this. Let me see if I can get my finger in there. There it is. There we go. Uh, down through that wire right there. That wire passes first underneath, underneath the straw, okay? And then the first wire that we're seeing actually in the coil, let me switch to this guy, right there, has the current going up this way. And so if we grip that with our right hand, put the thumb in the direction of the current, then the magnetic field on the interior of that coil is going to be pointing to the left, which is what we're seeing reinforced by the nail there. And as again, we remove the nail, we get rid of that big multiplying factor that the permeability of that core material, that nail, that steel, uh, gives it. All right, so we'll cut it off there, and I'll see you again for more Electronics Lab stuff soon.